So this is like a month's worth of stuff here. Uh, primarily family video and the Dollar Tree because those places have been like super cheap for a lot of stuff. So I'm going to try to get through this quickly. Uh, there's some screeners in here, not a whole lot. Um, some of them I think I might have just forgot to put in the pile. But here's, here's a hunk of stuff. So I don't think I put this in last month's video. It's, it's iffy and I didn't go back and watch it. But I bought Ben Summer. Uh, this is finally in the bargain bin at Walmart, so it's like six bucks now if you want to have it. I've seen it. I had a friend that gave me the Voodoo Code when he bought his. He didn't like it. I thought maybe I didn't care for it, but when I went back and I watched it, I, I, I noticed that I, I kept thinking about it, so it had a lot of rewatch value to it. I ended up, you know, kind of digging it, so now I actually own a physical copy of it. A Burn on Demand title. It's Bloodlust Zombies. I've seen this a long time ago. It's fun. I mean, it is what it is. It's got a porn star in it. Uh, but it's not porn. It's just a uh, mindless comedy with zombies in it. One of the first things I reviewed back in the day when I first started doing reviews, I think. Uh, from the same friend that had given me the Midsummer code, I purchased his copy of The Sleeper, which I had the old VHS uh, DVD combo, but never did get the Blu-ray. I already did reverse on the cover of that. It's not that good, but he gave me a great deal on it. A Warner title that came to me here. It is Wonder Woman, the complete collection. So I opened this, but I try to keep that, that paper around the side so it don't get messed up on the shelf. But it's all the episodes of Wonder Woman remastered. So good stuff. I grew up watching that, so that's always fun to go to. Scoob on 4K. Not bad. Better than I thought it would be. Not sure if I like it as good as the old live action videos. but Or the old live action uh, movie, I should say. But it's good. Batwoman season one I, it, it's a mixed bag I think it gets better as it goes on um, why can't we call her Batgirl anymore though what happened with that Deathstroke now these DC animated movies are always good and this one's pretty good I didn't know a whole lot about Deathstroke heading into this but it's pretty good let's get a hunk of Dollar Tree stuff out of the way shall we Toxic Shark now I already had this I didn't realize I already had it at the time I bought it, but I already had it. Uh, at least this one comes with the slipcase, and it comes with the Beneath Mississippi and Croczilla as a bonus movie. I know a lot of Wild Eyes stuff starting to show up at Dollar Tree, too, so I don't know how Dollar Tree gets these movies, but they're getting things that I like, because if you like indie films, they've got it. He's out there. I haven't watched that. I don't think I've already got it. The Girl in the Photographs. Heard this is decent. Maybe eventually one day I'll watch it. The Comet Kids. Um, looks like a Stranger Things ripoff, and my slipcase sadly got damaged on the way home after buying them, so I'm a little upset about that. Demon Hole, again, this is one of those Echo Bridge childhood bonus movies. It's got Legacy of Evil and Beneath the Mississippi as bonus movies on it. Killer Within, totally bought it because it's a dollar. I have seen it there, and I was like, well, why not just grab it? So I got it. It is what it is. Some of these, I think, more Dollar Tree stuff here. Family Possessions. Another movie that I purchased solely on the fact that it is a dollar. Roadkill. Now, some of these movies are pretty decent back in the day. That Voodoo Code did not work, by the way. Which, well, I don't think they even had Voodoo Code in it. So, I don't know where that was supposed to be. <laughs> but, I felt like I might have this one on like a triple pack of these or something. I don't know how to check it out. But, if not... It's cool to have that. Better Off Zed, which comes with Wacko and the Sideshow. So, maybe if the main movie isn't any good, the bonus ones will be. Tales of Dark Side of the Movie from Spring Factory. Great movie. Finally on Blu-ray. It took forever to get this on Blu-ray. I need to pick up, uh, I think, was it Graveyard Shift? is supposed to be out, too. By then, I need to pick that up. I think it was my old triple pack DVD I used to have or still have somewhere. Summer 03 from Family Video. Looks like a comedy. Maybe it's like a teen comedy. Kind of like American Pie type stuff. Give that a try. Honey Emma. It was cheap. I think it's one of those you buy one, get one for a certain price. Top deal. So I just got it because I needed to complete it. Uh, some Burn on Demand titles that I'm doing reviews for on the site here recently. In uh, Sectocidal. Ouija Blood Ritual. And Alice in Murderland. All indie stuff on Burned on Demand. Uh, not too bad. Some Vinegar Syndrome stuff coming up here. We've got Perfect Strangers. A little 
Larry Cohen. The 11th commandment. Unfortunately, I'm not cool enough to have the slips that a lot of you have with this. Old Dracula. Which, I better go, I better go lefty on this so you guys can get a better look at it. Old Dracula. And Best Friends. Don't know anything about those besides the 11th commandment and uh, 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 Perfect Strangers. Some more family video action here with Peanut Butter Falcon. See, I like stuff that isn't horror. Uh, has wrestling plot to it, so. Or at least it's got a little bit of wrestling to it. Uncle Peckerhead. This is new from Dread. Really want to watch this one. I may watch this one extremely soon because uh, it seems like it's something that's going to be down my alley. It just seems silly. Uh, this was family video. It was the Redwood Massacre. This is an old uncorked release. I don't think I've already got it. I've seen it somewhere, but I'm not sure where I've seen it. Maybe it was on Tubi, which half this stuff's probably on Tubi. This was a good find for Dollar Tree. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. On Blu-ray, I have the other, like, Man with No Name or whatever, Western movies, but I didn't have that one, so that one I needed to have to complete the, the deal, so there it is. Uh, again, I don't know if I did these last time, but Seeds, I think it's, you know, it, it looks what it is, and Clinton Road, which looks like a werewolf, or not werewolf, but maybe a Bigfoot movie. Gotta have all of them. Also from Dollar Tree, it's Tekken, Kazuya's Revenge. Now, i seen the first Tekken movie on Tubi a while back, and I thought, well, maybe I want to see how, where that goes. <laughs> I like the video game. Burn on the Man title, Colin, zombie movie from like way back in the day that I've not seen, so I'm looking forward to that. After Midnight. Now, I had the DVD of this from uh, Australia. I think it was by, Vi not by Vision, Umbrella. I think Umbrella sent it to me. So this is a upgrade to Blu-ray, but like I said before, it is a on-demand Blu-ray title. A little bit of a mixed bag of stuff coming here. From IFC Midnight, it's The Wretched. Need to watch that one. Uh, need to watch pretty soon, I think the reviews do. I uh, hear good things about it, so I'll let you guys know. Coma. Don't think I have no interest in that, but it came in the mail, so I better watch it. Uh, Valley of the Gods from Belgo USA. Pretty good cast in that. Never haven't heard nothing about it. Now here's some old action stars getting some new straight to DVD releases. And it says Blu-ray. Survived Tonight with Bruce Willis. Force of Nature with Oh heck, what's his name? Uh, it's Mel Gibson. Why I'm blank on it. Bet if it was Lethal Weapon I could remember. And from Via Vision, it's Ghost Story. This is an anthology type show. Um, it's Region A. It will play in your Region A player, even if it won't come out with a slipcase very well. But it's just, you know, all star cast, ghost stories. So it is what it is. Pretty nice little show. And last here, as I probably sound a record for going through these things Cannibal Corpse Killer. So from, I uh, can't read that. Indi indicator, indication, something like that. I have a yellow cape like my movie does, so I give them. Points for taste. This was from my buddy Will Potter, my wrestling buddy, Cadavers. I haven't got to watch it yet. Uh, cad cad cadavers? Not Cadavers. Cadavers? I think it's French. <laughs> I don't know. I think he got this at Dollar Tree, so I have to give that a watch. From Mondo Macabro, The Lady Kills. Also features uh, Pervertisma. I need to go back to school and learn to read, don't I? I mean, I need to quit making these weird times. Gemini, nice little weird one I've been looking forward to. Same director as Tetsuo the Iron Man. Good stuff there. Deep Blue C3. I didn't care for two. Will three be any different? We shall see. Right, this is another Wellgo USA title. It's uh, Evil Boy on DVD instead of Blu-ray. Kind of odd for them because most of the time they're doing Blu-rays of everything. Last two is from Family Video. It's the 4K of Knives Out. There are nothing but good things about it. Finally going to get around to giving it a, uh, a watch myself. It's got an all-star cast, though, so hopefully I like it. I heard it's one of the best uh, that's come out recently. I don't know for sure if it's 2020 when this came out, but I think it's 2019. And the last thing we got is Blumhouse's Fantasy Island. I've heard so many mixed things about this, so who knows? I guess I'll know soon enough, but that's a lot of stuff, and that's what I got recently. So if you've seen anything... Let me know.
if you want to see anything, let me know. And uh, stay tuned because I got a whole bunch of reviews coming up next.